everything I said about Tinubu making a better president than Ubi, I beg, make you forgive me. Popular Northern influencer begs Nigerians. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in and listening to this headline that we got to earn this morning. As our headline for this morning says here that everything I said about Tinubu making a better president than Ubi, I beg, make you forgive me. Popular Northern influencer begs Nigerians. Well, prolonged power outrage leave Northern Nigeria in darkness, sparking discontent with leadership. Well, going further, residents across the Northern Nigeria have endured an unprecedented power outage, with many areas experiencing eight consecutive days without electricity or water. This prolonged blackout has severely impacted daily lives, leaving millions without basic services, leading to mounting frustration and calls for accountability. The blackout has intensified scrutiny on President Bola Tinubu administration, with some former supporters bearing the handle. Wapsin, Wapsin wrote, Everything I said about Tinubu making a better president than Obi, I was mistaken said a resident on social media post that has gone viral. Jish Nanja reports that the statement reflects a broader sentiment of disappointment among, this, among those who had hoped Tinubu's leadership would bring improvement to essential services. The Nigerian government has, has yet to release an official statement addressing the outage, prompting many to call for immediate solution to the country's chronic infrastructure and power challenges. Well, that is all we have for you guys concerning this headline today this morning, which says here that everything I said about Tribu making a better president than Ubi, I beg, making a forgive me. This popular Northern influencer begs Nigerians. And well, of course, yes, you had it for me this morning. And if you're not a subscriber, the best you can do right here, right now, is to tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave a like on this video to get more updates concerning this internet feature to come. I beg, make you not forgive me. We don't have anything against you. But then do you know the best part of it is that you are realizing at this this point in time that all those people that were shouting him look on, him look on, him look on in the twenty twenty three election, that were saying that Tinibu Tinibu has more experience than Obi. They were like, Who is Obi? Obi is a small boy. Thank God they are in the same Nigeria that right now that and are, and are following everybody to suffer. This man is saying that please you guys should forgive me. You guys should forgive because he now sees, he now knows that Obi will make a bigger, better president than Tinibu. In just one year, Tinibu have destroyed Nigeria's economy. Just look at the blackout that is happening in the northern part of Nigeria. See the way people are staying without electricity. Just look at that. And who, 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 who will say in 2027 they will still want to vote Tinibu inside? Is the person high? That's why this northern influencer took up to social media to express himself, saying that those times we were saying that um, Tinibu would make a better president than Obi. He's not telling Nigerians that he was lying, he was mistaken. That if we should have given Obi the chance, if we, if we didn't allow Tinibu to buy, Nan, to buy Nigeria, Nigeria would not be into this mess as at, at, at this point in time. Because there's serious blackout to the north and no, no, no politician, even not, no, not even Northern politicians are even talking about it. They just, they act as if it doesn't even exist, and it's causing major difficulties right there, right now. So that is what that that is what we are saying. It is like they're forgetting about them in the in that Northern part of Nigeria. Yes, they don't, they don't like seriously under on one year. The Northern group concept, they've said that they're not going to vote for Tinubu in the coming 2027 election. Because of this, there was, just, there was this time this Northern group was, was exposing themselves, saying that they did all this cheating just to let Tinubu win. Just to let Tinubu win. And Tinubu has forgotten them. And Tinubu has destroyed our economy. All those people that were chatting, Emiloko, Emiloko, Emiloko. My greatest happiness is that, eh, hey, hey, you guys are now in this same Nigeria. That, has, that is suffering as, as at this point in time. Because your Tinibu so-called um, harsh decision, it, it's not affecting you. It will affect you and I. That is so-called harsh decision. It will affect, it's not going to affect him. It's going to affect the citizens with the low lives over here. 
So let us think before we do something. Let us think. Now what can we do? We cannot do anything. Now to go to 2027. Now to go to 2027. That 2027 election goes up. I keep saying it. It's not going to be it's not going to be easy for anybody. It's not going to be easy for Tinibu. It's going to be 100 percent hot. Because nobody will grieve for anybody. I say it, yes, nobody will grieve for anybody. Nobody will greet to for Tinibu now to buy Nigeria like the way he did it last time. Who 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 want to who, who, who will let him do that again? No. And that stupid I I next shaman. You you, you own cup of tea to the fool. You don't see the fool. But as at this point in time, me and you we can agree, we can sit down in one place and agree that Tinibu is a bad president. Tinibu is a bad president. Believe me, I swear, Buari's tenure was even better than this. Ah, let's say the fact now. Buari's eight-year tenure is better than this Tinibu one-year tenure. Just look at the way price have escalated. Just look at the way things, things look, 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 look at the way things are. Ah. This week, you go to buy something. It, it, ah, it is like the price is increasing every day. Every every blessed day. It doesn't just, it just doesn't stay in one place. People cannot can no longer drive their cars. They've parked their cars due to the high um, high price of petrols. And uh, when you're using almost fifty percent of, of your salary on just transportation alone, you have to park the car. Oh, what do you guys think? Oh, drop your own comment in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button as be great on with the notification bell. So that anytime I'm in a new video, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day ahead of you.